As the Lok Sabha elections approach, the ruling BJP is trying hard to connect with women voters, especially in the face of an increasingly formidable opposition. Its latest move is to trim LPG cylinder prices by rupees 200, which will benefit 33 crore households with domestic LPG connections across the country. It also plans to provide 75 lakh new Ujwala connections, reaching a total of 10.35 crore beneficiaries. The LPG price reduction, announced during the Raksha Bandhan festival, has been widely promoted as a gesture favourable to women. Union ministers took to social media to express their support. Topping the list was Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The price cut will help all the sisters in the country, he said. He went on to wish them happiness and good health. The steep increase in LPG prices has indeed led to sharp food inflation. While the LPG price cut would certainly help, fuel forms just a part of food prices. The fact remains that other products like pulses and vegetables still remain costly. It's not just cooking gas. Modi is increasingly speaking about women empowerment and their role in the country's progress. He lavished praise on ISRO women scientists in Bengaluru following the Chandrayaan-3 lunar mission landing. On Raksha Bandhan Day, school girls tied Raki on the Prime Minister and sang for him. With women constituting nearly 50% of the total electorate, their support can significantly impact a political party's chances in election. Moreover, there's a growing trend among Indian women to make independent electoral choices. According to a CSDS survey, over 48% of women are choosing their leaders by themselves rather than taking suggestions from their husbands or other male family members. Recognizing this, the BJP is making a focused effort to secure their support. A crucial next step could be the Women's Reservation Bill. This bill suggests reserving one-third of all Lok Sabha and Legislative Assembly seats for women and one-third of seats for women from scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. While the Rajya Sabha approved this bill in March 2010, it is now being pushed to be passed in the Lok Sabha. The BJP faces pressure from opposition parties to pass this bill in the Lok Sabha where it holds a clear majority. There is speculation that the special parliament session scheduled for September 18 to 22 might focus on the women's reservation bill, although the implementation of one nation, one election is also being talked about. The BJP's ideological parent, RSS, is doing its bit too. At the national executive meeting of the RSS in March this year, when all 35 affiliated groups were present, the annual reports of at least 11 outfits were presented by women. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.